going to show us how to make a pumpkin Nutella cheesecake. Take a look. Hey y'all, well you may have tried chocolate swirled pumpkin pie or maybe even pumpkin cheesecake, but have you ever had Nutella swirled pumpkin pie? It is amazing. <laughs> what could be better than Nutella in pumpkin pie? It is so good um, and I know it's going to blow everybody away this Thanksgiving, so this is the one you've got to bring. What I have already done is made the crust. It's a graham cracker. I used the cinnamon graham crackers and pecans with four tablespoons of butter, patted that into this pie plate, and then baked it at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Easy as that. I didn't add any extra sugar because you just don't need it, and you won't believe what the pecans do for the flavor of that crust. So good. And so here is our finished product. That's what it's going to look like. It's gorgeous. That looks delicious. We take that off the heat. Now, how long does this have? Normally, how long would this stay on the heat? Three to five minutes, just oh, until so the yeah, sugar dissolves and, you know, it gets creamy. All so right. it's and really simple. That? Okay, we're going to add in some white chocolate chips. Okay. If it wasn't oh, decadent oh, enough. Oh, enough. <laughs> yeah. And oh, a wow. little more salt. And a little more salt. Now these immediately feel like they started melting in there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they're gonna oh, melt that's quickly. Good and gooey and delicious. Yep. And that's it, right? That's it. So you just serve the sauce, and there's the finished sauce right there. Yeah. Okay. You can do them up really quickly. <laughs> Eight. Oh, April is a brand new bride, y'all. I am. Brand <laughs> spanking new. How long have you been married, April? Um, two weeks and two days. Two weeks and two days, and she's mm -hmm. already slaving in the kitchen. Slaving away in here. <laughs> Presenting my dish to the judges and Paula today was great. They all, you know, seemed to love the dish. They got to see me and get to know me, and I got to kind of see Paula's personality even more, which is always fun. This is my dream. This is not a whim or something I just wanted to try. This is what I want to do with my life. Your husband's going to be a very lucky man. April, your hot, sticky, and sweet potatoes. How did you come up with that it name? It is hot, sticky, As I tried sweet potatoes. Michael's. Well, it has got hot, sticky, and sweet. It's got curry paste, which I'm going to add in now, which will give it our little flavor kick. And then we also have avocados in here, which is going to make it buttery. And this is kind of my way. See, the rest of those I would have expected, but not the avocado. Why did you put the avocado in? Well, the avocado gives it that buttery texture without having to add the butter. Okay. <laughs> then you just pour it in the dish, and then you just top it, garnish it with our pistachios and our toasted coconut. Oh, so you don't cook this at you all? You don't cook it. No, wow. it's very rustic. And then you top it with a little more honey, and that just makes it a little more sticky. And sweet. I'm it just taste turns out this. beautiful. It's so simple and just a fresh way to do sweet potatoes. Hey y'all, okay, I have a confession to make. I love candy corn. <laughs> this time of the year, I literally, I, I always have to buy at least one bag just so I can munch on it for the whole month of October. I just love that stuff. It's straight sugar, but it's delicious. And so I've decided to make a candy corn trail mix. This way I can get a handful of this and not just be eating pure sugar. I can get something other than candy corn in my handful. <laughs> uh, but this is really easy. It's really simple, great for a Halloween party. And what I've got is three cups of corn checks, three cups of wheat checks. And then to this, I'm adding a cup of peanuts. You just scatter those on. And then two cups of pretzels. You can use the sticks or the little mini twists, either one. Love Chex Mix. My grandmother always makes this during the holidays and it's just good. It just hits the spot. And so this is going to be a perfect little lunch for your kids going back to school. Something kind of exciting and different and it's healthy. I mean, we do have bacon in here. But we have tomatoes, we have turkey, and we have avocado, and we've got the little whole wheat uh, tortillas. So you really have a healthy lunch that's easy, it's adorable, it's something different, and I think that you guys will really like them. So if you have any more requests for recipes or types of recipes, be sure to comment below this video. And if you like this recipe, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to like my Facebook page, Cooking with April McKinney. And I think that's all I got for you. So have a good one. Make some